Okay. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Uh, but we're gonna do this. Uh, let me just... Progress. Yeah, we go ahead and roll. Alrighty, welcome into Operation Recoilless Wrestlers. I'm B Car. Be calling the action for you guys tonight. Uh, as uh, <laughs> your normal streamer is unavailable. Um, for reasons of hurricane. Uh, so I will be here. I'm unaffected by the hurricane. Currently enjoying no humidity and frickin' 50 degree evenings, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Anyway, um, turn my mic up a little bit. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna try not to shout as much, but it's kind of late here. I'll be honest with you. I'll be real with y'all. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, roll into the map and begin discussing Corliss Rustlers. Uh, we're in Gordok. One thing, so. It's fun, yay, Gordok. A foggy Gordok lair. So, Corliss Rustlers is an attack to defend operation. Uh, Mill have... Two SPGs that are set up inside the grids. Um, they must be defended against U.S. U.S. stipulation is they can only be destroyed with C4. So, there that is an objective. So their objectives are destroy two SPG emplacements with the C4, and then def destroy enemy fob. Defend the building the fob was in. Uh, as you can see here, U.S. have four starting locations. One is suicide, two are reasonable, and one is uh, going to be rough if it gets figured out. Uh, the suicide one is starting southeast, I think, or southwest, I think. I think that's pretty rough. There's a lot of open draws and a lot of visibility that militia can, use, can take advantage of. And you're crossing a river. Regardless if you think that, you know, you can get your whole platoon across, that's, it's, you have Matt V open top. That's all you got as far as offensive uh, capability for the platoon until you get into combat or until you get into contact. So, southwest, kind of rough, but it is possible. Southeast, uh, Hotel 12. Takes you can set yourself up a lot better for success for approaching over the water, I think, because there's a decent enough there's decent enough positions that are inside that forest there in the eastern shoreline where you can figure out firing positions and you can scan for contacts that are watching e the watching the east approach. Um I think the big problem with it is is it's a huge cliff that you gotta scale in Fox twelve. And I think the tendency would probably be to rotate north. Let me get my drawing tool out here. I think the tendency would be to rotate north off of hitting this. Uh, I guess you could roll around the south, but ro rotating north is much more advantageous. I think you. I think this this bit connects. Wooded wise, this bit also connects, but you put yourself rotating around an elevated force. I think that the ideal situation would be to get on the same level faster, short of climbing the hill direct, which I'm not sure is possible in a lot of places. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but short of climbing the hill direct and facing contact directly on, I think you you're probably better approaching something like this setting up someone to look from here and then 
suppress uh, all of this while crossing a force right here at this intersection. I don't know, that's just how I would might play it. Uh, to the north, you got a lot of options, but they kind of boil down to the same crutch, I would suppose. Uh, you're basically going through the wooded areas, approaching, and Echo 9, Golf 9, you limit your access based on which route you choose, right? You choose Echo 9, you're coming into Echo 11. You choose Golf 9, you're coming into Fox 11. There's really no other way around it. Um, I think Echo 9 is like probably the most safest play. Uh, mainly because you can also send a group down here. And attacking from two prongs on the same like, you know, uh, 100 meter grid, grid square. Probably not the worst idea. I mean, you could also do that here. But I think you're going to come into the elevated boys here becoming more of a problem for your flank force. Um, alternatively, there's a lot of terrain change here in Echo 12. Um, There's a lot of terrain change here in Echo 12, not to mention the forest, so it becomes probably easier to meet contact, say if they were holding down here, uh, but I don't know. I feel like the northern ones are the more successful routes you could take. The south is a little bit more risky. I mean, Delta 13 is just YOLO. We ball, it's just fuck it, we ball energy 100%, in my opinion. Not to say that it couldn't be done, but to say that I wouldn't recommend it. Let's take a look at the plan here. And oh, look, it's an Echo 13. <laughs> Sturban is doing the madness. <laughs> All right, so Sturban's going to start Echo 13. He's not going to push his whole troop across. He's not going to use the speed. So let's actually go look at what we're dealing with over here. So we have the start point here. The fog is going to help a little bit. I would think you try to cross as many people as possible in a near enough situation where they can support each other through the fog. This might not be a, as torturous as I think it might be. There's a lot more trees here than I expected given the map because the map is, well, I mean to zoom into the map, I guess. Also, it helps using the current map rather than the map that's in the uh, op doc. For whatever reason, it's old, but whatever. Um, this plan is okay. I think pushing another group 600 meters east when you're only, what, two squads anyway, I think that's kind of rough. With a plan like this, oh, actually, I forgot. Let me turn off the, uh, no, uh, there. We're not in the dark, so I can turn the gamma back to normal. Uh, with a play like this, I would prefer here for a fire position. Maybe even here, you can get away with the second position. I think this is too far, but I get the point of sort of the misdirection. No more face cam? Yeah, I don't know why, but the camera is not working with OBS properly right now. Uh, I think it's a, uh, I think it's an iOS issue. When I updated to iOS 18, um, back in July, uh, it started causing problems. Um, it was skipping whenever I didn't have, uh, whenever OBS didn't think it was on top. Oh, maybe there's something I could fix with. We'll try it on Saturday. Um, I'm not going to troubleshoot it now, but, uh, I could put OBS always on top because it's always on the second monitor anyway. 
that would probably fix it. Uh, whenever OBS didn't have focus uh, in Windows, uh, it would not take all the frames and it would just drop, the encoding would drop. Um, could be graphics drivers too. Uh, right. But like, like I was saying, I think it's more advantageous to keep your forces closer together because they can support each other and there is a fog in the area. Um, but proceeding, the way that the route is drawn, I think it does make sense going straight through the forest. These rocks could really slow down. So I think the play is a leapfrog, right? Um, so you have squad one starting here and then two starting over here. Um, they move here first. And then these guys move over second. And then these guys move up third. These guys can close. It's supposed to be a D. Fourth. But it, but it requires that two is in position first, I think. So we shall see what the plan is. I think we're missing a brief. Oh, we're not quite missing a brief yet. Uh, let's take a look at mill setup right now. I don't know. I, they have chosen the building they're going to defend. It is this one. It's the building with the caved-in roof. But um, um, so this is the radio that they'll defend, and then they have two SPG guns. One's north, direct north, and you can see sandbags already built around it. Looks like they're having a brief over here. Carson is channeling his uh, spirit monster or spirit uh, person. Shout out, Ronan! I miss you. Uh, and then the second gun is over here, facing east up the road. So it's probably the maximum pain position for U.S. because they have to go through this entire area. And if this is a tripod, uh, where's this gun? Left. Oh, yeah, that's a tripod. It's facing the wrong way. Can this rotate? I wonder if these tripods can rotate 360. That could be bad. Uh, the uh, HMG is not a real objective, but it is a thing. Uh, let's go back over to US, and it looks like there is a brief starting to happen shortly, so we'll... Unmute the game audio, and we'll listen to Sturbin give a brief here in a second. I will go from this way because all this extra noise is a little much. Bump the game audio up a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gee whiz. I'm getting the uh, it's the change of season drainage or whatever. I might lose my voice. and It'll sound really cool for Saturday. Um, usually I lose my voice and it's disastrous. <laughs> it lingers for days. I'm not sick. Like, I don't have a fever. I won't get a fever or anything, but it's almost like a... It happens every time a season changes, especially winter to spring, 
and then uh, summer to fall. All right, sorry, everybody's here. All right, All here. let's listen to this brief. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome, Marines. Today, we are attacking Desna. Uh, this filthy militia man calling himself the sheriff is holding up Desna and attempting to push us out. Our goal today is we're going to be hunting him down, taking Desna, and getting rid of some SVG emplacements. If you take a look at your map, Knee Deep will be running the map, map V50. He will be setting it up with however shape form he would like with his fire team leaders. Knee Deep will take the remaining of his squad to Delta 1358. Oh, they changed the plan. The machine gun marker. He'll be pushing his squad northeast into Delta 1398. And then following after he slowly pushes through the hills from Delta 1233 all the way up to Echo 1276. And he'll make a base of firing line overlooking Desna to support Squad 3, which is Azali, which his squad will be pushing from the east. He'll be pushing from east from Foxtrot 1389, pushing northwest to Foxtrot 1248. From Foxtrot 1248, he'll be pushing into Desna once Knee Deep Squad is set up in, and having Overwatch in the town. Are there any questions, comments, queries, concerns? Pretty straightforward plan. No? Perfect. Is there anybody here that is their first op? No? Okay, perfect. Squad leaders, spread, spread your guys out. Pick your guys up, get ready for your op. Hua. I like how they're Marines now, but they're definitely US our Army. <clears throat> You know, it do be like that sometimes. Can't play with the cool kits. You must suffer. I don't know, see, it's like Kurt Cobain. <laughs> what was that? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, never mind. Oh, look at this. Mill are already setting up north defense. So they're going to be kind of surprised, I think, when they come from the south. But I imagine this is to their advantage, at least how they've set it up. The idea is going to be they're just going to... Want me to place another one? They're going to have hard points on the north, and it's going to require them to cross yeah. roads. All right. But the fact that their SPGs are not pointing... Oh, well, the only SPG they have is here. Ah, well, this SPG could... If they drive that M ramp up top of the hill, I think it gets iced. And how potentially potential is that actually? Not very. Hey, but still, you know, uh, SPG round, SPG frag rounds are uh, dangerous. There's a lot more terrain here than I remember there being. So maybe this is as as uh, suicidal as I uh, initially thought. And uh, okay, looks like US are pretty much set to go. They have a squad rolling to the FOB battery, which usually means they're set to run. The other fire teams in the Mat V, I think they're gonna cover an approach from looks like squad three is the infantry assault squad. Command is gonna roll with squad two. Oh, I didn't time this right, my laundry. I'm gonna have to flip my laundry during the round. Oh shoot. <laughs> dang it. Double dang it. And we're live for round one of Recoilless Rifles. Playing with our one life rule set for this operation. You see 
the give up screen, you are done for the round. Yeah, Charlie, you can hop out and just point your guns that way if you're not zombie. If US on the move. We got AP mines out for mill. Several of them now. Uh, just to go over kits real quick again. Uh, mill have two engineers and a lat on top of standard squads of two FDLs, two ARs, one medic. US have a bunch of breachers. Uh, standard squads for everyone else. Uh, but U.S. have six breachers. They run that shotgun. And of course, they have transport trucks to move around in. And they have the Matfi. Between the rock and the tree, 400 meters. U.S. setting up to move. Three AP mines now. Or okay. mill. Uh, they have their Latin North. That's going to be a mistake. They have people in both SBGs. Uh, which is a free optic for your standout rifleman. So, they're just looking around using that sight. Make sure they're not going to get snuck up on. Two ARs, East Hills, and... I imagine they're just setting up on rocks and watching this east approach. Both RPKs. Squadly kind of floating out here by himself. I'm assuming he thinks he can just cover this entire sector here. Mill are still building. Oh no, they're not building. They're inside the building. It's not everyone hole up in the building. Oh yeah, good call. I'll, I'll move across to uh, to the fob proper. I'll give you guys plenty of space to operate. Now, will they be able to see these guys from here? Let's take a look. Looks like suppression has started. I don't think that, I don't think they really see anything. I think this is just blind suppression to mask movement. But Mill knows they're in the south now. Cuckoo man, Cuckoo man looking the wrong direction, but might scan. He's not going to see these guys crossing far east, though. So, it's uh, gonna be a little rough. Oh. The guys from the hill are actually shooting. What are they doing? Who's shooting? I'm a little confused there. Audio bug? RPG got shot too. What the f is going on? Cappy. I guess Bartok tried to sling around. You don't have to put down the full ammo bike. I guess our Bartok just tried to shoot a rocket over. He didn't get anyone, did he? Done. No. Alright, well the infantry squad has made it completely across on the southwest side. Can I shoot him? Can I shoot him? Oh, please, please, yep. please, please, please. Engage, engage, engage. Nightmare found Cuckoo Man. And squad leader down. One KIA. Nice job from Nightmare. What's the bearing? 
That's going to draw Slinger and Squall J to close in the gap and move west a little bit, potentially. Or this could be the play that they were hoping for. If they came through the forest, they would just sit up here and uh, do a little shoot shoots. But I think Alzadi has them spread out enough where this will not be a huge surprise and they'll be able to react to it. So, U.S. is in a good shape here. Uh, they still haven't moved across the river yet. Uh, the western element has not moved across the river yet. What are these guys doing now? Yeah. Knee-deep, squad blade for this element. I think they're going to run back and grab the other transport. Oh, why not just have one guy get the transport? Oh, whatever. Okay. Meanwhile, in the east, we're going to have contact. Some other fight that, uh, uh, Cheese Man is walking right past these guys. These guys are sneaking right in the open. Uh, so this is Singer and Squall J. They're moving to close the gap. Uh, were we playing insurgents? Oh no, a militia? Militia. Efang should see this. Shotgun blast from Efang knocks one. Squall J has to run away. He's got cover. Oh, a grenade from Squall J. That could be bad. Oh, it looks like it bounced off a tree or something. And then immediately under fire from his elevated position. Raf takes down Squall J. Kills US. Fuck! Oh shit! The wave right next to me. Fucking hell. That was almost a uh, friendly fire with it a worked. grenade. Yeah. The, dude, the dude who was yeah, the dude who's over here is already dead. That's why I tried to stop you from doing that. Yeah, I thought there was more than one. My bad. Can you heal me though? Uh, they're, they're, yeah, I got you, brother. Wrong. Almost you team die? killing his medic there. That would have sucked. Is there anyone else in this immediate area? Two needs to move across. They are moving across. Nice disperse, uh, dispersed formation here. We're gonna take fire from the north, northeast, more north. Three kind of needs to slow it down now to allow two to catch up. Matter of fact, two's Vic is uh, is rolling out here. Kind of looks like it. Uh, Oh, it's taking a wide flank. I wonder what they're going to do. This is quite the flank, I must say. Uh, however, it does look like we're going to have more contact here. The infantry squad that pushed across... Is about to walk into a tutti route here. Meanwhile, elevated boys are about to get shot at. I we think hometown. Because he, he he has to be over there in that rocks if he's alive. I saw one by the rock. Right. Nightmare walking up on tutti route. Want to get to the edge of these rocks and then we can sit still. Koopa has the right priority here. What the fuck was I doing? Tootie Root is lying in wait. Okay, that's what they already called. Shots north. So it's like they're shooting at the Miller down. shooting. Oh, they allowed the frag up there. Missed. I'm not. We're at the edge right here. Yeah, house looks close. Close in. Nightmare goes to prone. Tootie Root might have to jump on him. Tootie Root, here's the movement. Nightmare. Oh, what is this? Efink whiffs everything about what he just had, and then Tootie Root just runs away? Oh no, Tootie Root gets out of that scot-free. Efink had him dead to rights, and for whatever reason just whiffed every single shot that he made.
Tootie Root didn't even get hit. I don't I don't think I got him. What was Was that an MP5? Why not just use the shotgun? Weren't you a I think he was an engineer, he had a shotgun. Oh no. Uh, let's go over here northeast. So frog getting pinged. From a distance. Oh, look at these guys. This is Bartok and Londarts. The Londarts flank. Survives. So I guess Londarts is pinging these guys, and I think Bartok is aiming for a frag shot here. He's got his RPG out. Lon is basically baiting. Take cover. Is he? Lon is baiting for Buzzle Flash. Hit low the first time, so get ready for him to aim for a tree up high. And I think they're going to ditch. Our Lon is actually going to reposition here. And here comes Bartok. Vehicles rotating all the way north here. Bartok's in a perfect position to get a hit on this thing. But one hit with a lat is not going to pop. The Mat V. It is going to cause a lot of alarm. Ma Bartok hears the vehicle. Ooh, great shot. The shots are at such a distance, though, that he's... Oh, he is bandaging now. Bartok in the middle of the field got shot by someone. Saya takes out Joe Violence. This is... Oh, Needy gets a grenade on to Saya. Sturban, command, takes out Prototype. And here is your HMG in the trees. JKR crawling away. Basket of puppies here on the gun. And... U.S. trying to figure out what the next step is. I think that vehicle's rotating... Yeah. U.S. putting on a really good wide angle here. It's starting to get concave. So that means more right that means more rifles pointed at the same target. Overlapping fields of fire. Super important for infantry movements like this. Not overexpanding your line to concentrate your fire it goes a long way. Tutti root goes down to knee deep. Did they ever make in, did, they, did they make it back to the town? One did. I think I killed one. Londarts is gonna jump. Make sure to be looking east also. Nobody's sneaking up on us. Oh no, Boston. Oh no, Boston. Boston with a saw. Londarts is just watching this man run right past him. Oh no. And there's Bartok looking for a chance to shoot this uh, Matt V. I turn my volume down too much here. These guys are just going to go in? That's not good. Lon is going to walk up to this Matt V. He must know the Matt V is here. Here comes... Lon is just splitting the difference here. Meanwhile, Op4 gets destroyed by George. The vehicle's on the move now. Bartok switches back to his RPG. He's gonna have a rear shot on this Mad V. It's gonna be glorious. Grenade thrown. Misses Boston. Boston goes prone immediately. Great hit. From Bartok. But, like I said, one shot will not end the Mad V. Matthew crashing into a tree as it runs away. Boston dying the Bartok. I'm out of AD though. I'm out of AT. 
JKR takes out old Skeeter. Uh, in the south, they push bas they push basket of puppies off the gun. Copy. I'm just checking green building in the compound. Around here. Grenade out of the ball reach. Twicking spots it. They're gonna throw a grenade at the position. It would have reached, but he's not on that gun anymore. And now, U.S. move into the town. That's the dish gun placement. I'm gonna throw a nib. Kuba's gonna throw another grenade towards the dish gun placement. Lands on the far side. Probably scares Basket in that building. And now the SPG team in an awesome place to really cut up this uh, attack as it moves into town. Apocalypse Joe, and I think that's um, Thorn. See, yes. I'm inside the yellow house. Thorn's making a run for it. Copy. Yeah. That's what the last one is. Guys. He calls it out. Speckles goes down to Twicking. Twicking hits the kill there. Where are they? Are they like, oh, I see the skin out. Cheese man catches one of them. Uh, I couldn't hit that guy for shit, damn it. Yeah. There's no water. More AR fire here. Could we in the top floor of the yellow house? I say yeah. But survival instincts kick in. Basket of puppies makes it out. Oh, but I think you just heard Kuba saw him move. Bill starting to collapse back north. Bartok takes out Nick of Time with an RPG. Toy King takes down Brown Bear with his saw. Nine to seven. U.S. in the lead right now. And as you can hear, the mat fee is opening up. If you can hit it from here, I don't know. There, there was guys in there. Needy gets another kill here, makes it 10 for U.S. Not quite sure what the 50 cal thinks it's hitting. And look at that. They've actually secured the dishka. Kuba takes down Bartok. What a shot. I think Kuba tried, or Bartok tried to come back in and rearm. And unsuccessfully makes it there. Yeah, uh, I heard. Rocket in here. Uh, same yellow house. Yeah, same place. Raph under some fire. Nice jiggle peek. I like that. Nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get to you. If you can get to me. Yeah. I'll definitely get to you. Dishka gets blown. Pulling out. Right, you're good. Ready. Go for a nice yeah, little I get out of that house before they fucking lob a frag in there. Yeah. Oh, that's friendly, okay. That's, that's good. But the lad dead. Lundarts kind of needs to fold back into the defense. Oh, yeah, that's a blue one. Who's that up in the mountain still? JKR is still chilling here. That Madfi is on the move. It's just hitting random buildings in town. Doesn't really have a lot of direction. You might have been told about yellow buildings. This is a lot of crossfire coming on. Uh, this is Thorn and Apocalypse Joe. Great AR placement here from Walburn. I'd smoke for you guys in. Shoot some smoke out. Yeah, I can smoke as well. U.S. in I'm control, but yellow. taking their time. Gotta watch out for Gamma and JKR here on the west side. They are starting to move. JKR in the rocks, waiting for someone to make a move here. All of these... U.S. are on the other side of the wall. Here we go. This is Gauss. Pot shots taken. Oh no, that was knee deep. He got cut out front. All of U.S. making moves now. Five soldiers cross, only one goes down. Sturban looking for where their shots came from. 
Thinks he has a beat on it. Taking shots. And, yeah. They're running right past this contact here. Oh, who is this? They got hit hard. Quaking might bleed out from that. Quaking barely makes it. Yeah, this friendly's there. Fuck it. I think Londart's winged him. Yeah, Londart's in that position. I'm pretty sure he winged him. Turns the corner and ends basket of puppies who's laying there prone, unaware. Oh, Gamma T1 taps the gunner of the Mad V. Mad V driving through town. They're going to try to get on the SPG. Uh, he thinks twice about it. Joe takes out Raf. Maxwell is just getting free information now. There's no AT that can stop him. I don't even think there's any mines placed. So he's just rolling through town. They can't touch him. Maybe he ditches the vehicle and looks for a way to contribute. Alright, yeah, there is a sound glitch. Definite sound glitch there. Yeah. Twig King takes out Gamma T, though. Good luck, Stead. I don't know where that grenade came from. That was an enemy grenade. You heard the fuse pop on it. No contact inside this yellow house. One guy. At least one guy. They call it out. Sturban. He's got a window. Through a window if you have. Yeah, yeah, will he right, take a peek? Literally in the corner of you. Oh, I know. I saw his foot. Right. I was going to shoot his foot, but I was out of ammo. That would be against the rules. Frag out. Frag out. Throws a grenade inside. Watch out. Thorn goes down to the grenade. Kuba ices Apocalypse Joe. Inside just got needed, so... Okay, I killed the guy outside. Twiking's still up. Who's getting behind us? Juanito takes out Twig King though, as Twig King jumped the fence. Giles is rolling up this way. Oddball. Squad lead. Holding the center defense here. Has pulled Londarts and George M into the fight here. They're gonna hold into this area. Did they find the radio and just not do anything about it? Londarts throws a grenade straight up. I think Giles is dead. No, he actually threw for distance. Alzadi. Just five meters beyond that grenade lethal range. Survives. Oh, nice. They smoked the Mat V off. Wonder if he's looking for a gunner. Gauss takes out lawn darts, who I think tried to come around the side here and then one tapped by JKR. Little light on the covering fire, but cheese man doesn't know which way to look. <laughs> I can hear the radio. Hold up. Anyone have a C4 here? There's an SVG across the road. JKR is shooting off GL smokes. What'd you say, cheese? The radio's in here? What'd you say? It's in here. Okay, radio's in here, Command. US realize yeah, right. the radio's here. JKR is set up perfectly. No, it's a radio. I just I see it. Do we have a Ooh. Jake Harrow gets hit. Blue Billion across the road, southwest. Oh, I'm, I'm running in there with that square pops. US are going to be able to comfortably take this. JKR might do some damage, but. Or Maxwell could just be a. Maxwell. Run interference. He's trying to chase George M. My guy, you're hitting. I think Maxwell's just gonna run these guys over. That'd be funny. Well, I need to take some shots at him. Oh, look at Koopa and Walburn. They're gonna make a run for this SPG gun. They don't know it's here yet, I don't think. Here comes the covering fire from Koopa and Walburn. It's a bearing. Oddball returning fire. George M also. Kuba has to bandage.
cooperating with his AR, standing and firing. Risky, but what can you do? Careful, you're also getting shot at from southwest. Auburn finds a position to shoot from, though. Oh, he uses the sandbags. Smart. Room temp IQ gets dropped off here. I think he's crawling to try to join the Mavi. Room temp IQ gets smacked, though. That's Juanito. You can see the sound glitch. Someone firing has a bad origin point. Oh my god. Oh boy. Good Ball and George are stuck here. Once US take this radio down, or take this radio out, all they have to do is uh, defend this building. And it's on bleed now. Is that dude still in that blue building? Uh, he hasn't moved and he's not been killed, so probably. He can run out the back though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a back door. But there's, there's like a... There's a back door. Bottom left, bottom left, bottom left. Jake Eric gets hit. I think he's out of bandages. No way, left. No, hey, looks like he's got another bandage. That, uh, door so I can walk out of here. I don't want to go into this building. Uh, we got Juanito trades. Command for his life. Alzadi takes him out. Sturban dies. Command is dead. 17 to 13. Four man kill advantage for US. Still at a little bit of a standoff here. Jakey on the move though. Dodging bullets. <laughs> Ozadi just nabs, just stabs him out of the air. I'm moving out, I'm moving out to Red Shed, Red Shed. Alright, heard, heard. Oddball and George M. Uh, one contact now. Oddball's out of the building, here comes George, they're gonna rush the position. Blaze of glory time, Kuba takes out George. Oddball, down the rearm. A reload. Oddball gets picked up from another direction. It's all Saudi. <laughs> he doesn't know which way to look. He can't do anything. Bog takes him out finally. And with that, the mission is over. Looks like a US win. 20 kills to 13. 4 for Kuba. 3 for Needy. 3 for Al Saudi. 4 for Toy King. Ah. Brief for JKR. And with that, round one complete. A strong US win from a direction I wasn't anticipating, with more advantages than I thought they would have. Craziness. Anyway, we'll be back for round two here in a few minutes. Stand by.
It's a great round one there. If I say so myself. As I believe it was. Still waiting on a setup for round two. So, stand by.
Okay, we're gonna hop back into it. All right, welcome back to Recoilless Rustlers. Round two, set to go off any time now. Uh, we're gonna hop back into the game. And we will reset on what the round is all about. Recoilless Rustlers is a attack defense on Good old Gorodok. Uh, we will be with US for this round, attacking Mill. Uh, there are two SMG, or, uh, SPGs and a radio placed in Desna. US are seeking to destroy this radio. And we do have a star position. It's north. It's northwest. Echo 9. Echo 9 star position for U.S. They got a mat V, 50 cal open top. A couple of transports. They will start from here and go south. It all depends on how Mill are going to build out. The, uh, the defense here. I hope it is good. <laughs> they put the SPG on the road facing south. It is not good. <laughs> what is this positioning? No. Are they going to put the other one facing north? Oh, they're never going to use these. These are just bait. That's what's happening. These are just bait. So, unless they're going to start building stuff on top of it. I'm pretty sure these are just... Oh, Zaudi looks like he's trying to figure out a position for more sandbags here. See, these are just bait objectives. Uh, draw them out in the open. Force US to, you know, run into fire. I don't quite think that's the play. I mean, maybe having one is bait, but I, I do think you build one in a actually usable position. If you're going to metagame that hard, I think you, you got to build it in a position. They just put him in the road. Now, Walburn's a little bit far off here. He's got to stay inside the fob radius. Walburn... Losing his mind a little bit. I'm sure he'll get ranged black again. Uh, meanwhile, players are up here at US, so uh, we're going to listen into a brief. Turn More on in game. Mino enjoyer than a shovel. Enjoyer. Get off me. Get off me. Game of T getting hazed. Uh, bino. Does it All about count? the binos. Yeah. Oh. Sea dog. Oh, sea dog. Guys, I saw uh, yeah. move up to the north end of this uh, compound. Uh, Just so away from command, please. There are things. Roger. Numbers just been a little. You know, numbers have been a thing, so it's not the. Uh, I mean, squad ops will still be here doing stuff. There's a lot more other games. Uh. Oh, they were cool, but yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna comment. According OJ, what's up? Uh, looks like, I'm not sure what these guys are doing. I think they're going to make a move here. So they're going to have infantry covering the south. There is the HMG place to help cover south. Basically, it's going to cover the rocks. They're going to build a bunch of sandbags in front of it, so you can't run up on it. It's also going to limit what the gun can do here. Uh, it's a thing. Uh, 
Uh, really excited for the Iwo Jima map for Squad 44. Gonna buy the game just to play the map? Bro. I would, uh, I would wait for a free weekend when the game, when the map comes out. Almost guaranteed gonna be a free weekend for when the map comes out to get people to buy the game. That's what uh, WI has done for Squad when a big update comes out. Case in point, the, uh, the PMC faction came out. The PMC faction came out, and uh, what do you know? The, uh, the free weekend happened that same weekend. PMC, you play squad full time. Okay. Fly helicopters on the A7 server. Love the PMC Little Bird. GE, new rockets. Yeah, that's, that's what was going to happen with the cast helicopter. I mean, rockets on helicopters in, squ in modded squad is not new. Um, the PMC helicopter is, the scout helicopter is very nice. Killed five vehicles. It's kind of amazing you flew over all that and no one hit you. Then again... The only thing that really could effectively hit you was probably the BRDM and the Humvee. I've heard those helicopters are very fragile. Um, and I have seen it firsthand. Watch people play Squad 44. It's definitely gotten more popular since the rebrand. Um, I haven't booted it up in a minute. Something I might try to do here in the near future. Gonna lose my nights, man. Alright, we're gonna turn in-game audio back on. Looks like we're about to get a briefing here from Carson. I'm interested to see As if Squad 44 continues to uh, improve. There you go, unarmed and right click. I just need to play it again. It's been a minute since I played. Where if you pull your gun out, you'll still have your arms up, and you just run about with your arms up. <laughs> <laughs> that was way too much laughter for a bug. I gotta say. Damn, I should be running around the battlefield like this. All right, gentlemen, gather in, gather round. All right, Carson's gather gonna in, gather round. Firstly. I want to say that was a fucking excellent, excellent effort last round. Look, we had 360 degree security. We maintained that throughout the entire op. We eventually got overrun with an assault from the southeast. They punched in hard. And so they're going to inspire our assault here. In the spirit of the ops, we're not going to do any picking and prodding. We're not going to see what's going on, where they're posted up. We're going to punch them right in the fucking face. We're going to have Coco Man's squad Fuck. set up as a supporting unit and light up the entire fucking town with this Matt V here and provide oh. suppression for our assaulting squad led by Oddball, who's going to punch into the town if you could direct your eyes to your maps. Okay. You'll see that we have a southern facing... I forgot to change the overlay for this operation. Dang, go on it. ...to assault south into the town using plenty of smokes to cross the road and go tree line to tree line. Punch into this town and egress east clearing the buildings identifying the spgs blowing them up with c4 then identifying the radio and holding the position as marked echo 11 to 8 i knew i was forgetting we'll to do that. something Dang, Coco squad it. is going to be supporting from a further <sighs> tree line lighting up every second floor window every bush that you see we will not let any friendlies die while moving fire and movement is our bread and butter we're going to execute this plan flawlessly by getting our assaulting element across the street. Once across and breaching and clearing buildings, we do not want to have any friendly fire issues. So once Oddball is set across the street in Echo 1118, Coco Squad will advance 
splitting fire teams east and west to encompass the town and provide support to oddball or identify additional targets on the east side of town say again our objective is to take out the spgs with c4 identify the radio building take it out and hold it we're going to punch him in the face gentlemen any questions so uh how much ammo do they have yeah is is the, is the in game the spgs or the radio both primary objective is spgs secondary objective is radio and holding the position Third objective is to wax all the fucking enemy combatants. Hoorah. Easy peasy. Okay. Easy peasy. Hoorah. Easy. Let's fucking cook, gentlemen. Hoorah. Stand by for life. Yeah. I don't have any fucking questions. Rah, rah, look, rah. look, I want to make sure that we avenge ourselves from last fucking round, so use every bullet you fucking got. Do not die with full max. I thought you said we max. did great, boss. We did do great, but I want to win. Can I get a medic? I just fell off that shit. <laughs> loser! 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 Alright, whoever's calling loser is getting put into the assaulting squad. Okay. Is that oh, a challenge? Quiet. Challenge. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, you know, if Mill wasn't going to throw AP mines in this uh, forest immediately after live, uh,. They have two engineers ready to do exactly that right now. So, uh... Oh, and Kuba's up here, too. Oh, look at Raph walking up here before live is called. I guess they got permission to come up here and place uh, mines. Maybe the extent is actually the whole grid. Which would be a little much. But that doesn't explain the south, though. Yeah, I don't know. I think these guys are just deviating from the rules. It's whatever. Uh, ooh, barbed wire. Okay, that's actually kind of smart. You're going to force... <laughs> it's not enough barbed wire, but, you know, it's a little bit. Off of live, am I good to go 50 meters west to the rock and uh, be by room, or...? Uh, a little lopsided here with the defense. Actually, no, it's actually pretty spread out now that I look at it. Actually, think about it for two seconds. Um... All right, live for round two has been called. Recoilless Rustlers round two begins. With AFK driver. There we go. Oh, no, he ran over that man. You spin me right around, baby, right around. You spin me right around, baby, right around, like a wrecking player. <laughs> All right, 2D Roots having a little bit of fun here. <laughs> the last thing you hear is, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, boy. Where is the lat? Oh, the lat is... Uh... The lat can make a casual 250-meter shot. Can you even do it from here? Not really. They're building a bunch of stuff over here. No, they just placed a mine. Oh, they're building a position. Inf is already dismounted. For US. Why is BG facing the flag? I'm pretty sure. If I had to guess, the, inf the SPGs are placed as bait, they're not defended. Uh, the US can't dig them down. Per the rules, uh, well, look, okay, it looks like one of them have been built around, but they're not going to really defend it directly. Um, I think the SPGs are just placed as bait, and then the bill plan is just hide and shoot and fight the lane actions. Obviously, the objectives are the guns, but also this radio. It's like a fallback secondary.
Well, that's true. Ammo bag. Actually, no. Um, well, they can pass ammo. I don't know if they can pass supplies for ammo. That's actually a good question. I wonder if you can pass the resupply points of a magazine type to another player. We have a mod that lets you pass magazines between players. So you can redistribute uh, ammunition. I wonder if you can pass... Actually, no, that won't work, because they have to have the same weapon. Bobble, can you use your binos? They have uh, the logi here. So all they got to do is just dump the ammo into the logi. Um, they could just dump the ammo into the logi and then uh, rearm the right, the uh, lat. U.S. way further in here, taking their time, getting lined up. Uh, okay, so you can get set up on this. Looks like, <laughs> looks like the, their outfit, so I don't fucking start. looks like the Manfi could probably open up from here, actually. I don't think they have camera. Hey guys, I think we can move up a little bit, at least to the tree line. Rifleman east of three. Riflemen don't have ammo bags. Um, uh, in our mod, uh, first of all, optics are, are been removed. Okay, so we got, looks like suppressing fire. Ooh. Maxwell pinned down. Ooh. Nick of time gets the first kill on Cuckoo Man. That's <laughs> a... Command dead. <laughs> I th no, it's not command dead, is it? No, it's not command dead, but I think it's a squad lead. Yeah, it was <laughs> squad two. Squad leader just got iced from across the way here. East, north, east. So yeah, in our mod, uh... Riflemen don't have ammo bags. There are no optics in play other than Binox, the scopes on the SPG, and the LAT. Um, trying to think of what else. Uh, to reduce grenade spam, grenade costs are like 50. These guys just walk right up to it. Oh, look at Mill. This yeah, is when it gets dangerous. That yellow house? Mm. Miller just crawling around here. They're throwing grenades up and over. Bartok gets hit by one. Second grenade goes out. We also have some customized kits here too. Uh, US have a bunch of breacher kits, which have so throwable C4 blocks, I think, as well as um, shotguns. Return of grenades thrown. Boston kills Saya and Gamma T. Giles goes down. He's caught out in the middle of the field. This is not the play that US were looking for. Bartark double kill with the grenade. Up for and Zavi go down. Ooh, where did these guys come from? Twig King and Mostly Harmless are flanking hard. Zabi. No, oh, yeah, he's already dead. Twig King and Mostly Harmless are just gonna walk up to this hill <laughs> and just kill Thorn in Apocalypse Joe. Oh no. The flanking play is ridiculous. How about these two ARs down here? They can't see anything. Alright, let's move back. So this is Room Temp IQ in Boston. Boston to get some good kills earlier. Back up on the road, provide some fire support for, on that fence line. Boston being brave here. US are rolling through. And here comes... Right in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, 2D root gun, the open top gun. Hold on brother, hold on brother. I gotta make sure I don't get shot in the face. There it is. <laughs> nice. 2D root gets shot out by old Skeeter. He was on the uh, HMG. 
Actually, that's so camouflaged at range. <laughs> that's actually tremendous. Manfi neutralized again. Mostly harmless. Kills US command after he trades with Twig King, that flanking force. Old Skeeter lit up the uh, Matt V there. Bartok assuming control. It's gonna drive that thing away. Do you wanna get in? In US of a serious problem. US are boxed in on the northwest right, side here. Hold, 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 hold. Uh oh. Alright, you're driving. Onball takes out Boston and a route right. temp IQ. Oh you're Oh man. These guys were down here. Oh no, they must have run back to the compound. I missed that. Alright, who's this? Mostly harmless. He's gonna try to dome the... No, he's not. He's just gonna hide. Set. HMG, old Skeeter takes out George. No, actually not the HMG. Need to be the HMG. Old Skeeter took him out from here. Whoa, I missed that up. Old Skeeter is just holding out. You see your knife fail? Was that you trying to run up the command, get the knife kill? You probably switched it out the last second, didn't you? Harmless takes out Thorn. <laughs> Look at Harmless. Southwest. Southwest. You you want to punch this over to Opal? He's got. A, he, we could maybe punch over there and ragdolled. Maybe. I'll I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll pick up the AR though. See if you can get in the vehicle. Yep. Alright, relay if you can to your squad Thanks. members. They need to be looking at these. Harmless. Just watching this thing. It'd be hilarious if he actually made the shot in the... Oh, he got out of the vehicle. Contact seems to have died down. US are kind of fragmented here. But they are still whole. Matter of fact, they're making progress south. Mask of the puppies crawling up. Finds a hole in the mill defense. Right in front of me. They find the SPGs in the road. Keep an eye out, like, northeast was the SPG I saw up on the road, those sandbags. Okay. U.S. deploying south of the road. I guess they're going to use the Mat V to ferry people around. Do you have ammo bag? Some shots okay. here. It's old Skeeter. Both HMGs on the battlefield firing. Slinger trades himself for Matt Maxwell. Joe takes that uh, return kill. And Mill that we're holding east over here. Oh, look at this flanking force. <laughs> Alright, it's over. The spin cycle has started. It does look like... U.S. is going to start getting wiped from behind here. Now that said, there's only four people in town. And... Mill only have three on the backside here. Needy go so. wakes up, takes some shots at the uh, speckles here. Stay back, I'm throwing a nade. What a throw from Bartok. Got the roof, some 
Fifty-six. Want to talk? Nails him. Oh, speckles it in a fight for his life, getting suppressed by the Matt V. Sturban takes out Brown Bear with an MP5. Grenade goes up. At least Sturban moved. He's still gonna have to bandage here. Breachers also get extra grenades, so makes the kid a little bit more worth it. Meanwhile, in the north, in the north. the Manfi is getting ambushed by multiple people. Can't see it. Kuba one taps lawn darts. Caleb hates bagels. Let's drive the vehicle away. The flanks from Mill have been dirty. Two man teams just getting sent out there. That's wild. It's not even close. Mill have almost doubled US kill count here. Barthog gets hit, has to bandage. Who went up the road? Is that spec? Ooh, the SPG got. Oh my god! The SPG got it, made a made a shot. Old Skeeter. Oh, that's epic. The bait SPG became used, and it was legitimately used. Prototype takes out Frog. That was a great shot, though. Disables. <laughs> Bartok's leg tweaking out as he gets dis absolutely deleted by SPG frag. Oh my gosh. It's like the anti, like, bait trap. <laughs> Mill Uno reverse their bait SPG. It's now a real thing. That's just wild. The only ones left. <laughs> He's even taking a shot at Speckles right here. It's Caleb and Prototype. All that remains for US against we gotta get the radio now, squad two. We don't have any charge. Speckles in close combat here. I think he doesn't realize he's bleeding. Takes out Sturban. Nightmare puts the bullet that does Speckles in last. Old Skeeter is reloading that SPG again. Okay. That's so hilarious. <laughs> Let's do, um, let's do some distractive smokes. I don't know if you have any. I do. Caleb and Prototype, the last two that remain. I have to remind, remind far west. Three years northwest. Let's move into the town a little bit. This is not going to end well. It's not going to end well at all. Um, no, that's that was east that you just threw that. That's, that's, that's no where we have to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, sweet. So, uh, um, yeah. So that's the building I was gonna say go to. Let's uh, let's go to it in just a second. Oh yeah. Prototype in good spirits. I did throw one northwest. To be fair. Oh. I just got excited. <laughs> Raf sneaking up now. Again, we gotta do what we can to find this radio. Caleb was gonna crawl across the road here. Will the SPG find him? Oh, yeah. Man, this lat. SPG throws another round. Exactly where I'm at. Prototype's gonna engage him. Yeah, yeah, I shot him twice. He's off the gun. Prototype trades a bullet. 
Caleb. Oh, yeah, he was dead three ways to Sunday. Four ways to Sunday. Prototype now doesn't know he's alone. Just domination from this mill squad, or this mill platoon. Six ways to Sunday. Yeah, well, there wasn't that many people looking at him. He stands up for two seconds, immediately gets found out, and then shot through the fence for good measure. Kubo with the last kill there. And GG is called. So, four kills harmless. Or to look at this scoreboard. Let's see, kills. Uh... No one had more than three kills on US. Wow. Four kills for Harmless. Three kills for Skeeter. A wild round. And everyone's filtering out now. What an operation. So, uh, according to uh, the fences like sandbags, logwells built into the game. No. Uh, I mean, yes. Um, those things are almost virtually the vanilla things, except for without the camo. It's the old version of the assets, where they don't build with the camo. Uh, anyone can place those, so... Uh, anyone can place, like, the basic defenses in the mod. Any kid can. Um, and it uses the build off of the nearby fob, so you have build permissions and stuff. Um, yeah. This was a pretty low-key operation. But it was a ton of fun to see how everything worked. Like, especially round one, freaking. I mean, I was using an old version of the map and I called it dangerous to uh, approach from the southwest. But approach from the southwest and they won. So, what do you know? Round two, just basically fire teams split into buddy teams. And the mobility that they had around the entirety of the concentrated US push just did them in. Crazy. Uh, all that being said, we're going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back on Saturday with another stream. If you're interested in participating, check the calendar on our website, squadops.gg slash calendar, and our Discord, discord.gg slash squadops. We hold these events twice a week, and we'll have more events. We'll have a Sunday event as well. Um, here we will announce that soon so be on the lookout for announcements for the next scenario Sunday slots in that event go fast and it's always a full event so looking forward to see you guys in future operations until then I'm B car good night <laughs>